So in this, now we are going to derive the formula for mirror. So for this, first we need to draw a diagram. That is, for a concave mirror, we need to draw the ray diagram. So now here I am considering a concave mirror. I am placing the object beyond C. Is it clear? So and AB is the object. Now R1. I am drawing the ray R1. So what is R1? It is a ray traveling parallel to the principal axis. It touches the mirror at X and passes through the focus. Is it clear? So the reflected ray passes through the focus. And next I am considering R3. You can consider R2 also but simplification. For simplification I am considering R3. So for R3, what is R3? It is passing through the center. So the, the ray meets the mirror at Y and gets reflected back in the same path. Is it clear? So these both X B dash and Y B dash they will meet at a point called as B dash. Is it clear? So this is nothing but the image of the tip. Now I am drawing a perpendicular line to the principal axis. So here I have formed the image of A. That is A dash is the image of A and B dash is the image of B. Is it clear? So now two rays that is two reflected rays are meeting at B dash. So now I have obtained the A dash, B dash as the image of A, B. So from this diagram, by comparing this diagram and from this diagram, what I will consider is, see now this is point C. So at this point, A, B, C and A dash, B dash and C. Both are two triangles which are similar. Is it clear? So by comparing the similar triangles, I can write it as AB by A dash B dash is equal to AC by A dash C. Is it clear? Now, see, next I am comparing at F. Is it clear? So at F, see now I am drawing it because as it is a curved surface, here you can have the differences. Is it clear? In order to delete these differences, what I am drawing, I am drawing a perpendicular line from the X. Is it clear? So it touches the principal axis at P dash. Is it clear? So this is where this P dash will coincide with P. That means there will be a slight difference between it. Is it clear? So now this X, P dash, F and F, A dash, B dash. These both are similar triangles at point F. Is it clear? So by comparing these two triangles, I can write it as P dash X by A dash B dash equal to P dash F by A dash F. Is it clear? So by comparing two similar triangles, I can write these two equations. So from figure, what I can observe? That X P dash will be of same side of AB. Is it clear? So hence, I can write it as P dash X equal to AB. Is it clear? So, now I am substituting P dash X value that is AB in equation 2. So, the equation 2 can be written as, so here P dash X. So, in place of P dash X, what I am writing? AB. So, AB by A dash B dash equal to P dash F by A dash F. Is it clear? So, now compare equation 1 and equation 3. So, I am comparing this equation with this equation. So, what happens is, here it is AB by A dash B dash and here also it is AB by A dash B. So, when both these are equal, so I can equate these terms also. So, now I am writing by, by equating 1 and 3, what I will get? AC by A dash C. That is AC by A dash C. It will be equal to P dash F by A dash F. Is it clear? So, this equation I will get. Now, from the figure, see, this is AC. So, so, it is AC. Now, see, this is the distance I need. So, what I can write as AC? So, I can, from total, if I remove AC, then I will get this one. Is it clear? So, same like that, from total, if I remove this, I will get this one. Is it clear? So, now from this, what I can write? AC equal to total PA minus P C. Is it clear? I can write this one. And same like that for A dash C. So for A dash C that is A dash and here it is C. So for this what I can do? From P C minus I am subtracting P A dash. So A dash C equal to P C by minus P A dash. Okay. Next for A F. That means for A dash F. So for A dash F. So A dash F. So for this distance, what I can consider? P A dash minus 
you will get now. So AC. So that is AC. AC is nothing but PC ma. PA minus PC by we have A dash C. A dash C is PC minus P A dash equal to next. What is P F by what is it is A dash F. So A dash F is P A dash minus P F. Is it clear? So this is the equation I will get. So now see from the figure the distance between pole and object is nothing but called as object distance. That means P A is equal to object distance and it is denoted by U. And next P C. So C is here. Okay. So the distance between P that is pole and center of curvature. So already we know the distance between pole and center of curvature is nothing but called as radius of curvature. So already we have relation with this. So R will be equal to 2F. Is it clear? So now PC equal to R that is nothing but equal to 2F. Next we have found out PA, PC. Next we have PF. So PF is nothing but PF. So this PF, this is nothing but what? Distance between pole and focus. So already we know by the definition. Distance between pole and focus is nothing but called as focal length and it is denoted by F. Next, see, all terms we have got it. Is it clear? And next we need to get PA, PC, PF. Next we need to get P da, PA dash. Okay? So PA dash. So PA dash. A dash is nothing but image of object. So PA dash is nothing but the distance between pole and image is nothing but image distance and it is denoted by B. Is it clear? So now in this equation I am going to substitute all these values. So now PA U minus PC. PC it is what? 2F. That means R I am replacing it with 2F. 2F by PC. What? 2F minus PA dash is B equal to PF is F by PA dash B minus PF is F. Is it clear? So this is the equation I will get. Now by simplifying this equation. Now by simplifying this equation what we get? So I am cross multiplying both the equations. So U minus 2F into B minus F equal to F into 2F minus B. Now I am multiplying this. U into B is UB plus into minus minus. U into F is UF. Next plus into minus minus 2F into B. 2VF. Next minus into minus plus 2F into F. That will be 2F square. That will be equal to the zero. F into 2F. It will be 2F square plus into minus minus. F into V is V F. Is it clear? Now I am bringing all the terms to one side. It means all the F values to one side. Is it clear? So what happens? See, here all are the F values. Only U is the without F values. So now I am taking all these F values to that side. So what it becomes? U V equal to. Here it is plus. Here it is minus. If it go that side, it will become plus. So U F. Here it is minus. If it go that side, it will be plus. So 2 V. Next, here it is plus. If it goes that side, it will be minus. Okay. Now this is same side. So no need of changing the symbols. You can write it that. Is it clear? So now from this see 2 X square minus 2 X square. Okay. So now what you have? U F plus 2VF minus BF. Okay. So now this is 2VF minus BF. That means 2 minus 1. So that will be equal to 1. So UV equal to UF plus BF. Big value will have plus symbol. So here I have taken the plus symbol. See this is the equation I got after 
simplification. So now I am dividing all the equation with u b f. Is it clear? So I am dividing all equation with u b f. So here u b u b gets cancelled. Here u u f f b b f f. Is it clear? So here I got one by f. Equal to here nothing is there one by I have v plus here also nothing is there one and here I have u. Is it clear? So after simplification what I have got one by f equal to one by u plus one by v. Is it clear? So now this is the mirror formula. Is it clear? So this is the mirror formula we use to find the focal length of a so we have derived the formula for mirror that is 1 by f equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v so by using this equation when you solve the problems we need to follow the sign conventions that means some rules to follow so the first rule is that are nothing but called as sign conventions the rule is all distances should be measured from pole that means the image distance, the object distance or any other thing that should be measured taking the pole as the initial point and measuring the distances. So this is the first rule. And second rule is always that is the distances measured in the direction of incident ray are taken as positive and the rays with distances which are measured in the reflected ray direction are taken as negative. That means see, suppose this is pole and this is ob uh, object where I place it will be. So now it is the distance let it be u. So this is the incident ray. How it will be? It will be incident in this way, incident ray. But here we will be measuring from pole to object. So that means we are measuring in the opposite direction to incident ray. Is it clear? So that's why it is taken as minus u. Is it clear? So if you measure in the direction of incident ray, then it will be taken as positive. And if you measure the distance in opposite direction to incident ray, that is opposite direction to incident ray is nothing but reflected ray. It will be taken as negative. And next third rule is height. That is object height. Is it clear? If it is above the principal axis, is taken as positive and if it is below then it is taken as negative that means height of heights of objects are positive when they are on the principal axis and when they are below the principal axis they are taken as negative is it clear so these are the three rules to be followed by deriving the formula or to solve the problems of mirror.